eternal life, eternal gift of salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Wash away. Wash us away, Jesus. Make us pure. Make us holy, Lord. Make us righteous, Jesus. Put on the clothes of righteousness. Clothe us with Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, when you were baptized into Christ, you were put on the clothes of Christ. And the clothes of his righteousness. And the clothes of his holiness. Hallelujah. And the garments of praise. And the garments of joy. Hallelujah. You've been equipped with Christ. Hallelujah. Even though he sends you among the wolves. But I want to tell you something. That you are so equipped. You are so equipped to stand. Hallelujah. You put your armor on. In Ephesians chapter 6. And you stand. It says all after all that you've done. You stand. And quench the fiery darts with your shield of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, your faith's got to get stronger. And it will. As you meditate. Yes. As you spend time with God. Yes. I just want to ask you, how much time do you spend with yes. God? One day I was convicted. You know, I, I gave my more of my time to other things. Nobody had to tell me. The Holy Spirit inside of me yes. was talking to me. Yes. And he said, why do you give that much time? To these worldly things but you don't even spend time with me and I said you know what you're, you're right and I had to repent and I had to walk away listen if something is taking up more time if whatever it is if it's taking more time away from you from Christ yeah. then you need to repent yes. Yes. and you just say Lord forgive yes. me I want to spend time with you because when you step, spend time with Christ he renews your mind he equips you he sanctifies you he anoints you he releases fresh anointing and let me tell you something in this world today you need that fresh anointing on your head with all the mind battles and the psychic powers and all the things in our, in our world trying to press on us and seductive powers. You gotta have the mind of Christ. You gotta have that oil. Because when you're oily, then nothing can stick. No tactic of the enemy can stick. Look, I'm giving you some tools for warfare. You gotta, you gotta get equipped for the battle. You can't just stand there and let those fiery darts come into you. No, you gotta you got to use your armor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. So, you know, I, before my journey, I, I felt like I was the weak one. Always, you know, dealing with stuff and just never seeing the victory. Until I finally realized who I was. And I said, enough, devil. Enough is enough. Yes. Enough terrorizing me and my family. Enough is enough. You take authority and you... Get on your knees in your house. Yes. It's okay if it's just you. It's okay if it's just you. Amen. But you have, somebody's got to intercede in your household. Hallelujah. Somebody's got to be a warrior in your household. Yes. Somebody's got to stand in the gap. Hallelujah. Yes. God can do miracles through intercessors. Yes. Hallelujah. So I just encourage you. Build that altar inside your house. Yes. Start your morning with prayer and the Word of God. Yes. And then run again to the Word of God. And then again to the Word of God. Let it be your life source. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, continue to reveal your revelation light. Yes. Continue to help us see how the Word is so powerful. Yes. Help us to use that Word in our life. So we can be a blessing to others. So we can share the word of God with yes. others.